So sorry for the trouble here. All right, um, everybody's good with one and two? All right, let's take a look at number three. Now, it's going the other direction. If angle EBA, so let's find EBA. EBA is congruent to EAB. Name two congruent segments, that would be what? Good. B what? B nope. A E A E and what else? A E and B E. So remember you're looking opposite. You with me? Once you identify the angle, the angle is related to the opposite side. The angle is related to the opposite side. So it'd be Y and B E and A E. Good. What? Does it matter if you say A? No, it makes no difference, all right? It doesn't make a bit of difference, all right? These are just learning, you know, how to look for opposite sides with opposite angles, all right? Whenever you're talking about a triangle and someone mentions side or, or they mention an angle, the angle that you want to look at, all right, you look at the opposite side. That's the relationship, all right? Hopefully you understand what I mean. All right, we'll double check that right now. Number four, let's go with CED. So if we look at angle CED, and we say CDE, uh, now we can say what? Go ahead. CE and CD are congruent. That is correct. All right. Anybody? Right now, like I said, it's easy, but if you don't know this relationship, you can't really do the proofs. All right? So we're good with one, two, three, four, right? Yes. All right. So now we're looking for the measure of angle A, B, C, which is obviously what? 60. 60. All right, you're with me. All right. Now, what about angle E, D, F? That would have to be what? 70. 70. Anybody have any objections to that? The angles of a triangle out up to 180, right? The vertex angle is 40. Therefore, the other two angles have to be what? 140. Since they're equal, divide by 2, and that gives you 70 for each angle. Now, in this case, just using our mental math here, so x is equal to what? 14. That's how I want it. x equals 14. Now, over here, what does each angle have to measure? What's the measure of each angle? Uh, 45. 45, thank you very much. That's called an isosceles right triangle. In an isosceles right triangle, the base angles are always 45 degrees. All right, so now let's figure that out. So x is equal to, help me? 21. 21, perfect. Uh -huh. x is equal to 21. All right, told you very easy. All right, now let's go for our first little two-column proof here. All right, let's see what we got. All right, here we go. This is the important stuff. All right, so let's mark. Oh, they already have things marked. And I'm trying to prove CE is congruent to um, CF. Now again, let's go ahead and mark it so I can visualize what I'm trying to find. I'm trying to prove those two are congruent. All right. Now again, lots and lots and lots of ways to do it. And I mean that, guys. You're going to see things differently. So when someone starts to say something and it's different from what you think, that doesn't mean they're wrong. All right, that's the number one thing you need to realize. Your job right now is to try to show that those two segments are congruent. Now, they have the figure marked. If they have the figure marked, this really and truly is a one, two, three, four step proof. It's a four step proof. Tell me what to do. So, you, I don't know what this is called. But Just tell me. Okay. You put uh, E. Angle E is 
Now you're talking about angles now. Yeah. First of all, you said angle E, and there's two angle E's. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what you're referring to. Angle C, E, F. C, E, F. How do I know? I, now, the red that's on there is what we're trying to prove is true, not what is true. What? Okay, so E C is congruent to C D. E C is congruent to what? C D. Why is that? Because it, it has the one line horizontal after it. No, it's not. You're right. What? C D is congruent. C D is congruent. Why is that? Now listen to me, guys, and I'm not trying to really put you on the spot, and I do appreciate what everybody's saying. But every time you tell me something's true, I'm going to ask you why. If you can't tell me why, then that's not correct. Angles, no. Nothing is parallel. Listen to me. It's not a bad thought, but still, we don't have anything about parallel. So we can't say anything about alternate interior angles or corresponding because nothing's parallel. All right, tell me. Uh, angle G is congruent to angle Z. Listen to me. Super important. Right. Angle G. Right. Hold on a minute. This angle right here, angle G, is congruent to angle D. By, we say, isosceles. definition of isosceles. All right. And what does that mean? That means if two sides are congruent, then automatically the what? The angle. base angles are congruent. Everybody hearing me? All right. So now, step number one. All right. Yep. I'm going to write statement reasons number one. CD is congruent to CG. And DE is congruent to GF. That is given. And then angle D is congruent to angle G. That's definition of isosceles, all right? So now that I know that, someone else now chime in. Now keep in mind, I'm trying to prove those red lines are congruent. Good, what? C angle C E is congruent to angle E C F. Why? Now, now hold on one second. You're always, now, what I would like for everybody to do is I'd like for everybody to say that CE and CF are part of a triangle, correct? Yeah. So, in order to find those sides congruent, I have to say what about the triangles? They are congruent. So, Sam, what? Oh, oh I was going to say, oh, Shh, I know. Hold on. You did above, like, angle G makes CF. Because when we did it above, we did the angle and then the opposite. Right. Thing. But those don't, that's not a, I don't think it's a common triangle. Tell me what. Are the two triangles congruent? Yes. Look, look, guys, you're, you're going to see it in a minute, I promise. You're going to see it in a minute. All right. And, and the more you do, the better it becomes. All right. So go ahead and say it now. What are we going to say? Um, triangle. Triangle CDE is congruent to triangle what? CGF. And then we would say that's what? Side angle side. And finish it off. Yeah, you know. Uh, um, is CE is congruent to CF by what? Or is it? Yeah, something like that. You just throw a bunch of C's and P's and T's together and you got it. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. C, P, C, T, C. What? Um, did you prove that the side angles? Oh, no, no. Right? Is everybody good? Again, most of the time now in this section, you're proving triangles congruent. And then once you prove the triangle is congruent, you say the parts are congruent. And you're always looking for a part of the triangle. All right? Does that make sense? I agree. It's not hard. All right? Let's go down. 
Um, let's go ahead and do number 10. All right. Now, what do we see on number 10? We see parallel lines. So we know something along the lines of alternate interior angles or corresponding or maybe even wild and crazy alternate exterior. I don't know. All right? That's what you're trying to figure out. So again, in my opinion, it's easy to try to figure out how to solve it if you, in your head, try to solve the proof first. So again, they have the figure marked. They're telling you right now that angle one, so I'm gonna mark angle one is congruent to angle two. So if I didn't know anything else, just by saying angle one is congruent to angle two, I now know what? AE is congruent to what? AD. That's what I know for sure. All right. Now, if, no, I'm not writing it. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, in my head, prove things. All right? So I am trying to now prove that AB is congruent to AC. So I am trying to now, again, highlight, I'm trying to prove that AB is congruent to AC. And that's easy. So, so what am I trying to show is true? What am I trying to show is true? Do you know? Tell me. If, if I know this is true, then AB is congruent to AC. What is that? Wait a minute. If what is true? If what? This is how I'm trying to look at it. If angle 3 is congruent to angle 4, I then can say that those sides are congruent. Correct? I'm not saying I know they're congruent. I'm just saying in my head, if I know angle 3 is congruent to angle 4, I know the sides are congruent. So now I have to show that angle 3 is congruent to angle 4. All right, which isn't going to be a difficult task. Two angles, it's two angles more. Very good. And one is to four by four. Yeah, and they're all equal. And they're all equal. Yeah. And again, guys, that's how I want you to do it. Now you just have to write it down. All right, now we have to write it down. That's the only way to do it. All right, in your head, you should be writing things down that you know are true. Okay, what? What, um, I understand, like, all of that, it's just what is it called that makes, like, what's, like, the last thing for AC and AB, like, what is that called? Well, that could be, like, uh, yeah, the converse, like or it could, yeah, you converse know what I'm saying? Is it, the isosceles triangle says this, if the sides are equal, then the what? Angles are equal. Okay, that's so it. So if the angle angles equal, are equal, the sides then the sides, sides are equal. All right, so for me personally, if you just write down, Definition of isosceles triangle, I'm perfectly fine with that. I don't have to say converse or anything like that. Quickly. Yeah, so just once you say that all the angles are all the angles are equal, you can just put the definition of the isosceles. Yes, if the angles are equal, if the base angles are equal, the sides are equal. Right? Now I don't care about putting con you can if you want. Alright, I'm just gonna put down definition of isosceles. Alright. Good? Alright, let's write it out real quick. Just to show you, it's simple, simple. All right, so here we go. Statements and reasons. All right, so right off the bat, given, let's try this too. Okay, now we said that. All right, so now we can say that, uh, Luke, you said what? That if three is angle. Angle three is corresponding to angle two. Is right, so you would say angle what? 
angle two is congruent to three, right? And then let's go ahead and say angle one is congruent to angle four because those are what? Corresponding angles are congruent. Corresponding angles are congruent. Is everybody good with that? Right? So now we could simply say that angle, not yet, you have to say angle three is congruent to what? Angle what? Angle four. Right? And that's simply, that's a substitution. Is everybody good with that? Right? And then step four, we're going to say what? AB is congruent to AC by definition of isosceles. Yes, sir. Um, so, first thing, if when we learned it was in the given angle one is congruent to angle three, mm -hmm. and then he said that line AE is congruent to AB, we don't have to write that down. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm not, I'm not even. It doesn't. We don't. I just said that because I knew it was true, but I, I didn't really use it. Okay. It's possible I could have used it, but you see what I'm saying. It just came to my mind. As soon as they say base angles, I automatically write the and size. If we, if we were going to use that, what would the isosceles definition? Yes. The base angles are equal, the sides are equal. All right. Bless you. All right. So, um, all right. Let's go down and do some more of the proofs. All right. Let's go down to number seven here. All right, triangle ABC is equilateral, and angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. Prove that angle ADB is congruent to angle CDB. That should be kind of easy. It's, yeah. All right. So if we're looking at this, all right, because it's equilateral, it must be what? Equa angular. angular. It's equiangular. Right? If it's equilateral, it must be equiangular. And again, that's kind of like the definition of equilateral. Yeah, you could say they're all 60. Yes, you could say that. Right, but I'm not sure if it's angle necessary. One is what? Um, okay, so um, let's go ahead. Let me hear what you have to say. Hold on one second. So we're just going to do statements and reasons, and I'm just going to go ahead and put this in real quick. All right, here we go. Number one. All right, we have a uh, given. Okay, what do you want to say next? Do you think it all through? All right, go. So I would say that angle DAB is angle DCA. Um, so DAB is congruent to what? Yes. All right. Well, we can just say in that case, we can say angle A is congruent to angle C. Yeah, yeah. Right. So angle uh, A is congruent to angle C. Yeah, sure. Definition. Shh, hold on a minute. All right, Ms. Stern, what's next? Oh, that's a really good job. Good job. Three, she said DB is congruent to DB by 
reflexive property. So DB is congruent there. Hold on. Let it go. Well, it doesn't. Oh, yeah, it does say angle one is congruent to angle two. All right, so that's given. So let's go ahead and mark that. Now you got to be real careful here, girl. So tell me what it is. Good. So triangle what though? D C B is congruent to triangle D A B, and that's shh, shh, shh. go. And then say that. You're telling me how to do it, and you're. I'm. You watching me, right? So where where am I at now? What what what's the reason for number four? Good, good, good job. Angle, angle, side. Now what? Oh, no, uh, let her think about it. Oh, angle. Okay. Oh, it's angle. Now we can say those. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah. And then five corresponding parts of congruent triangles. It's not really that hard. It really isn't that hard. There are lots of ways okay. to prove that it's congruent. All right? She said, because I've established those two angles are congruent, that's a great way to do it also. You can now say, if you prove angle C is congruent to angle B, or I'm sorry, angle C is congruent to angle A, and angle 1 is congruent to angle 2, you now could say CDB is congruent to ADB by the third angle theorem. That a lot faster. I don't care. <laughs> Lots of good ways to do it. All right. Now, number eight. Try to fill in number eight by yourself. Try to fill in number nine by yourself. And then go back and knock out the easy algebra. All right? Is everybody with me on that? All right? So the algebra right here, look up. I want these done. Right here, these need to be done. And 8 and 9, do those on your own. You can kind of work together if you want. 8, 9, and nine. That's your homework. Yeah. Um, I, um, let me, I'll oh, look now. Sorry, I can't do this. Um, all of that algebra and then we go. Right here, that right there. Yeah, those two of them algebra. 